Hello, this is John from caveofprogramming.com and in this tutorial I'm going to walk you through um, installing Google Play services which is like the first step in getting a version 2 map application running and uh, this this latest version of the map SDK is as new to me as it is to you but I thought, uh, so I have no kind of special expertise, but I thought I'd just to include this for the sake of um, completeness in these tutorials, I thought I'd kind of go through the basic steps that you need to get a map application working at least. And uh, if nothing else, maybe it'll give you some faith that it can be done because I have to say this has had me pulling my hair out and it hasn't, it hasn't been easy. But if you pay close attention to the instructions on the Android developer page then it certainly usually does in the end work. So uh, at the moment it's um, it's February 2013 and the version 1 of the map SDK which I originally included in this series of tutorials has been deprecated and from March 2013 we're using version 2 of the Android Map SDK, which is not to be confused with the JavaScript SDK. The JavaScript SDK is going from version 2 to version 3. So the instructions that I'm going to go through, they, they may well change and I'd strongly advise you to look at the developer documentation and I'm kind of making this uh, with the kind of sinking feeling that this could easily be obsolete, the stuff that I'm about to tell you in a matter of months, who knows? But if that should be the case, then um, I'm just kind of hoping this is some use to you and, and just in going through the basic stages, but I, I would advise you to look at the documentation. So if you type into Google something like Android V2 uh, map um, tutorial or something like that, um, and of course uh, this assumes that we're still on version 2 by the time you're looking at this and we haven't moved on to version 3 or something like that. Make sure you have Android in there though because you don't want instructions for the JavaScript SDK and go to this page from developer.google.com and here we find the instructions that you need to go through. So these are, the, these are the steps and basically you need to install Google Play services which now encompasses the map SDK. You need to get an API key, you need to create like a, um, a library project that will include the jars from Google Play service, services, that, that should be step two really. And, uh, and then you need to put together your, um, your demo application and, and off you go, hopefully it will work. So f f let's cover in this tutorial just in installing Play services and creating the library project which you need. And to do that, uh, go to Eclipse and go to, um, depending on your version, but for this version it's under Window, go to the SDK Manager. And then you need to scroll down to the bottom, to the Extras section here down here at the bottom is extras and make sure you tick Google Play services here and if it's not installed then tick it and install it here and that uh, when I did it actually took several hours I think it was quite a slow job and once you've got got that you need to find the, the library project that that installs so I'm on Windows so if I go to C and these instructions are all included in that developer page so I'm, I'm just telling you stuff that I've literally learned myself from that page not long ago. So I go to C users John in my case um, Android hyphen SDKs extras Google and then you see this Google Play services folder and if you go into there and then click lib project you see this Google Play services lib and that's what you need so you need to create a um, lib project like this in your workspace and to do that at least the way that worked for me was um, well actually first I'll copy that path so I'll just click up here and do control C so I've got it copied and I'll go into Eclipse and go to file import 
existing Android code into Workspace under this Android folder here and click Next. And for root directory I'm going to just paste in that libproject directory and uh, I don't know why that's not um, working. Let's try clicking Browse and OK. That seems to make it happy. So then I, I tick Google Play Services Lib and I click Finish. I think that's all I had to do. So now we've got this project here. And if I expand that we should see some jars and stuff in it. Android.jar and uh, probably some other stuff. Google Play Services jar. And if I right click and go to Properties and Android here we'll see is library should be ticked here as well. So I haven't had to do that, it's just been ticked automatically. Uh, so I think um, I'll leave it there for this tutorial and in the next tutorial probably we'll um, uh, look at getting an API key and, and creating a basic project or something like that. Okay, so that's it for this time and until next time, happy coding.